Welcome back to the Losers Bracket Finals from Orlando, Florida. It's the 2009 Pro Circuit National Championships. Right now, we are checking out as classic the blue team. They are up five to two over Carbon. And here we go, guys. The crucial game for Carbon coming up next. It's King of the Hill on Construct, and we're going to be starting this one off with Defy once again. But Scott, it's do or die time here for for Carbon. What can we expect to see? Well, Carbon and Classic have similar strats for this bottom hill, Chris. So I'm expecting a lot. It's going to be come down to a lot of individual battles. All right, so here we go. We're getting this one started with Defy as he opens up with a nice four shot on Chick. Going for the double on Goats. He's got it, and he's not done yet. Woo! There's the triple to start the game. That is what Carbon needed. And after that momentum swing, we're going to listen in with this Carbon squad. Now in the booth, 
It's Sundance, DJ Giovanni. Sundance, welcome to the show, bud. Uh, thanks for having me, dude. How you doing? I'm pretty good. Like crazy weekend. Yeah, absolutely ridiculous weekend. Right now we're checking out as Classic, our fifth seed, is taking on Carmen, the fourth seed here in the losing bracket finals. Not something we expected to see. And what's even more surprising is the score here. Classic is leading this series 5-2, and they're just one game away from advancing to the championship match to meet up again with Believe the Hype. Yeah, but I think that loud, I think that sixth win is going to be the toughest for them to get. Carbon, as you know, they always seem to bounce back, especially when their backs are against the wall. Um, I don't know. They, they just—it's a weird match so far. You know, the, the back and forth between these two teams is just kind of surprising. And what's really surprising is the way Classic plays. They're on fire one game and, and then, then just totally disappear. Cool it's the next crazy. Game. I I don't know. I think there's a lot of it is just got to do with the game types and that there's some game types that they're not comfortable on. Um, but again, they're such an aggressive team. They press so hard that, you know, when you start to go down that road of, well, your aggression works against you, it's hard to recover, you know, because you can't just suddenly change your play style. They're not going to go go slow suddenly. So, you know, sometimes they'll play themselves out of a game, it seems like, by being so aggressive. That's exactly what Believe the Hype did to them. They slowed the pace of the game down, and then Classic just ended up overcommitting over every time, and Believe the Hype took advantage of yeah, it. Yeah, which was kind of shocking, because another team you talk about being super aggressive is Believe the Hype, but they did lay back there. That one game, you know, it, it got so slow on, on pit there that I was just thinking, you know, somebody's got to make a move. And obviously they're waiting on snipes and everything else, but you just you normally don't see either one of those teams sitting back for that long. And now, guys, we're taking a look here at the game eight of the series. It's a, a do or die game here for Carbon. And something I've noticed here is, is Nated, who some consider to be their main slayer, has the most kill time here for Carbon. What's going on here? What is their strategy going into? Well, I think the five just really stepped his game up, and Nated hasn't gotten into a groove yet this event, which is kind of scary when you think about it because they're still in third place. So he's just stepping down from his role as the main slayer and just letting someone else take over. I used to do that with Karma. Back at Dallas 07, when he was absolutely on fire, I gave him the sniper. Well, yeah, you got to go with the hot hand. I mean, but I think also just when you you one more loss and you're done for the day, you do whatever you can. If he's near the hill, he's going to run to it. I don't think he can be too picky at this point. I mean, don't forget, all the strategy in the world doesn't matter if you don't execute it um, and if you're not able to adapt. So I think Carbon their ability to adapt is going to be the thing that's going to keep them in this if they're able to win this game. And that is going to be three down for Carbon, three down for Belize, or for Classic, rather. We're going to jump on board with Chiggas, he's trying to kill Evan Hill. It goes down, and he got a lucky spawn there in the sword room. He's going to try and spawn his teammates up before this hill moves. And nice push there. You saw Soldier 187 from Classic pushing from back gold, while Ghost and Friends were sitting over on close side. But Classic really not able to get all of Carbon at once off the top. Yeah, I mean, that's a testament to, you know, to, to Carbon's just individual talent. I mean, when things fall apart for him, the guys are still able to stay alive, still able to make the smart moves and, you know, thinking about where they're going to spawn their teammates, where the attackers are coming from. But the thing i got to say is that Classic is keeping this close. You would think that they were a little bit further behind, but it's only about 25 seconds at this point. Um, but that's not much of a lead for Carbon. Especially when this is, they lose this, it, they're done. You, you know, they, they need more time here. They don't have a lot to play with. And they're all coming up back. Golden Soldier 187 is waiting for him. Ghost Yami, he's just looking down low at where the new hill is going to be. Not taking any fire at all. Just great protection here from the rest of Classic. It's one of those things I don't like seeing too much is when a team just, you know, they're forced into a position where they have to give up on a hill. I mean, you can still send one guy to try and be disruptive, get the guy out of the hill, do some damage. Because when you just sit back and wait for it to move, you're giving up time. This game is now only a six-second game. That is not a good position for Carl. Well, one of the common things that Nate likes to do is, like, about five seconds before the top hill moves, he airs up that portal, and because they're, most of the time they jump to the bubble shed right there, and then he's right behind it. Yeah. So it's, it's a move that will actually work most of the time, but sometimes you can get unlucky. And Carvin started this game so strong, but now take a look at the score. Just a eight-second game. Carbon back in the hill once again, and the guy you were just talking about, Nate, he's the one sitting in the hill, continuing to pick up most hill time for Carbon. And all classic bo boosting up except for Gosiami. He's still going to be fighting from the main ramp. And Scott Walsh is there directly above the main ramp, and that's something you pointed out at the start of this tournament. What is this new strategy we're seeing here on this spot? Well, well, basically the strategy here is, Chris, is that you put a guy right there at main ramp, and he's watching the sword leg. So if they drop down, he's got shots on him. And when if the, if they come from the streets, they just assume the guy who's right there is in the hill. So it's it kind of messes with the other team's eyes, and then as they drop down, they're getting two on one shot. 
Yeah. That, you know, how long can something like that work for you? I mean, these teams are going to figure that out pretty quickly and adjust to it. Um, you know, I, just, I would see that more as something you can get away with once or twice. I mean, you can get away with it, like once or twice, yes, but the beauty of it, like how Ghost executes it, is, is he drops down Donut as soon as he starts getting hurt, and then he airs up the lift portal of the new hill. So he puts himself in a position where he can get control of the top as well. So it's really like a distraction slash... I couldn't, I don't even know what, but it works. <laughs> gotcha, it works. It's That's a combo about. of some sort. Right now we're checking out as three are down for Classic. Make that all four as Walshie picks up the double kill. 169 to 148, which has five minutes left on the clock. This is going to be a nail biter. Carbon really needs this next kill. They need to lock down the top and get a big chunk of time here. Because if they keep it close, that is just going to be blood in the water for Classic. And I think they're going to smell it and come at them full force. We're going to see that super aggressive Classic squad charging. Yeah, I got to say, one of the things, you, you heard Best Man in the pregame when we were talking to him about Ghost and how it to land, you know, how much he brought and, uh, and kind of gotten them to communicate. You know, there's a lot of talent on this team that people maybe didn't recognize. You know, we've talked about in the past, but Chig had, had great games yesterday. Best Man was super solid for them, but they've, they've spread it around a little bit. I mean, Soldier being the support player on this, this squad, I think we've seen a different side of him the last couple of events where he's really, you know, he'll do whatever the hell he has to to get the win. You know what I mean? There's no, not a, a lot of pride getting in the way there for any of these guys, but, um, you know, I don't know. These guys just seem, you know, they, they get into a groove, and it seems like they can do no wrong. You know, look at this, they just got the lead back on this, you know, on this hill, and they have overshoot. And you're starting to hear some fans in the crowd. It was all Carbon fans earlier. Now we're starting to hear some classic clapping going on. And we're going to switch over to classic as they take the lead. 181 and counting to 171. Best man has the overshield, and the only shield that's removed from this one is the overshield that's been taken away. He's been untouched up to this point. I died, I died, I died, I died. And they're just putting the pressure on him. Check this out. Jig dropping down to the second level to help out. Soldier 187 and Ghost Yami were providing cover top gold. And they just swarmed in on Carbon spawn there from mid gold. And Carbon's going to have to rely on this lasso, which is the lasso you want to rely on is the bottom one. It's one thing if it's a top hill, but that bottom hill, anything can happen. You could spawn back gold, you could spawn basement, and those two spots you don't want to be in. And it looks like uh, Classic is just going to be about 40 seconds away from winning it and advancing to the championship match because Carbon's not even contesting this top hill. Again, I just hate giving up free time. I mean, cross map shots from Walshie aren't enough. Best man going up against the fly and Nated takes down Nated. Nice shots from Best man. His VR really heating up here. Walsh is going to get two in the face. Meanwhile, you have Gosiami just milking that hill. No one really paying attention to him. Shockley got him out finally, but he's quickly shut down by Best man. And Soldier 187 just picked up the Rockets. Carbon back in the hill, but Classic needs just 25 more seconds, guys. Over versus Walsh. Over Walsh. Over Walsh. Over Walsh. Over Walsh. Is going to be able to pick him off. We're going over to Defy, who just hopped in the hill. Let's see how Carbon plays this. Defy's the last one alive, and he decides to leave the hill as Soldier 187 jumps in and gets the brand new sniper. Oh, man. That was, that was a big change right there, shooting that rocket instead of wait, saving it for the hill. And there's some sniping action coming down from Classic. Soldier doing work. Best man's got the overshield. And a double kill. Man, I would say I'm shocked this is by over. This. I'm shocked by this. This is just not what I expected out of Carbon. They came back so hot today after yesterday, which they called an embarrassment. Leave the hive, sends Classic down. You think you're going to get an extended series, but I don't know. Somehow Classic just has all the answers so far. As and they started off extremely flat this, this game, too. Uh, it's crazy. As long as they're playing a higher seed, it seems like they can do no wrong. And here we go. Klatsch is, is going to advance to the championship match. Carbon, they're walking home with their third place checks. And checking out the stats of that final game. Chig, as you were talking about, Sundance shining through with 37 kills, dropping the plus 13. Best man and soldier continue to go positive. Ghost Yami, he dropped 30 assists and got the most hill time. Classic is going to advance to a championship match. Just really balanced play out of Classic right there. Carbon just not able to build enough of a lead. And in the end, too much Classic. All right, well, we're going to go to a quick commercial break. The final score, Classic 6, Carbon 2. When we come back, we'll have your Old Spice moment of the match.